unilaterally, the external oblique laterally flexes and rotates the vertebral column to the opposite side. Due to the compressive effect on the abdomen, the external obliques raise intra-abdominal pressure and assist in forced expiration. Hey Pebble Beach, it's Rock here. I made a change to my grip as you're suggesting to move this right hand more, you know, in a weaker position, so in this direction. I'm also going to go to a uh, overlap grip that you're recommending. So, kind of a weaker grip here. And uh, overlap and then swing. I'm still working on, you know, getting my hands real upright. Change I'm going to make now is when you hit out. Hit out towards the ball more. You notice my fall through is like kind of tight in and all jammed up. And you want more of a finish like this. Get my arms separate, everything opened up. So uh, go ahead and try that. So I hit 100 balls on the range and I'm on the, uh, out on the golf course right now. That was a low one. Felt like I was fighting that follow through, trying to get my hands up high. Pretty good though. Right, not super solid with that straight. That was a duck hook, dead left. That was a toe hook. Felt like I got my uh, arms through it better though on the release, even though I hit it off the toe.
All right, so that was kind of a white fade to the right. Pretty good distance on it though. Kind of a heel job. So I got all the shots working right now, man. Sounds right down the uh, right down the pipe and fairly good distance on it. Feel like I finally got my uh, hands here you know, upright on the follow through. Felt like I got through and you know, I felt the club and the way the club pulled my hands out of the socket. Didn't quite flush that, uh, but. I think we can take a look at that swing and uh, see what you think. The only other thing I really did on that was I got up here instead of allowing that club to cross like this and trying to, you know, I normally try to get separation from my right elbow to my right arm. In, in this direction, I, I went and got it more in this direction. So more in this direction instead of in that direction. So if I get in this direction, it kind of goes down the line more. And if I get in this direction, it crosses the line. So I don't know if that's anything, but it definitely noticed the correlation between that and how well I'm able to hit it straight. All right, thanks, Blake. See you, bye.